And welcome back to Montana this morning. We have uh, four pretty amazing guests in the studio today. Two of them, Shane and Cody. These little guys, they're skunks. I'm a little bit afraid of them. Yeah, I understand yeah. why. You know, and obviously when you think of skunks, we all think of oh that boy. smell. <laughs> and that, yeah, you'll see that tail go up. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But the cool thing about skunks is the fact that they're actually omnivorous and they're nocturnal. So you're not going to okay. see them off during the day. It's obviously during the evening you're going to see them. But they're, they're opportunistic, which means they're going to eat just about anything they come across, oh, from okay. fruits to veggies to mice to amphibians to even bird eggs on the ground wow. uh, so at the zoo we feed them a, a little bit of it, just about everything but yeah when you think of skunks everybody often you know, obviously you think smell right the smell right. the spray yeah. one of the best defense mechanisms in the in nature if you ask me so the cool thing about skunks is they're, they're going to give you a warning before they spray you so if you get too close to a skunk first of all know that you're probably going to get sprayed <laughs> okay. but look for warning signs they're going to stomp their feet they're going to sometimes even stand on their hind on their front legs and do a handstand really? they're gonna okay. raise their tail they're oh. gonna let you know before they spray you okay. if you're unlucky enough to get sprayed it's awful <laughs> if you right? I mean we've all smelled skunks yeah. on the road but sure. unless you've actually ever been sprayed by mm -hmm. one you really don't get a feel for just how mm -hmm how bad that smell how, is. How hard is it to get that stuff off of you? Terribly hard. Pretty bad. And tomato juice does not work. Oh, and it's, the reason, oh. it's, a, it's an old wives tale. What happens is when you bathe in tomato juice or your dog, you smell the tomato juice and you have olfact, what's called olfactory fatigue, which basically means your smell has actually, you, go, you can't smell well, so you smell oh. tomato juice. Best thing is hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap. That's going to be your best Okay. Oh, okay. Good FYI. Okay, you just yeah. wash yourself down with that. Okay, so my mom, I grew up on a farm in Wyoming she actually got sprayed by a skunk because mm. we had chickens and she went into the chicken coop and there was a skunk and it just sprayed her uh, but these little guys are they are they gonna spray us are they in danger so they, on set right now Jeff? they are what did you not bring? so they are descented <laughs> okay, and so they, yeah okay. so unfortunately their mom was shot and these two babies they found babies afterwards after mom okay. was killed and so that's why we brought them in knew they'd be great ambassador animals and by uh, removing that that scent gland it was a great opportunity to make sure we can get these guys into schools and yeah. obviously Okay. Uh, you know, features like like uh, being on Q2 here. So, uh, a right. great ambassador for us. We're excited to have him. Okay. I asked you, I asked you uh, uh, during the break, you know, I look at the face and it's almost like a weasel or a ferret. A yeah. ferret. But they're not, they, they have their own classification. They do. So, for the longest time, they were in that mustelid family with, with weasels and, and wolverines and otters. But because they actually spray that must, they were kind of put into their own family. And there's one other animal in their family with them. It's called a stink badger. But that's it. Just those two animals in that, that particular that family. Pretty interesting. Yeah. And I had a really good joke, but it stinks, so I won't tell it. Uh. It stinks. Okay, I like it. I like it. What about you, Amanda? Any good skunk jokes? No. <laughs> okay, but the skunks, they love you. I mean, look at them. Yeah, how do they show affection? I've noticed this one's yeah. kind of nibbling on you a little yeah, bit. Is like that a, how they? A grooming thing. Yeah, is that like an How do they do affection? I mean, they, they seem very they affectionate crawl toward over you. you. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. Yep. There's so many good jokes to, okay. that I can give on Amanda about she smells like a skunk, things like that. But I'll be nice to her today. So. But great mama here. So yeah. these are new to the zoo and they're not quite out yet. When can people see them? Yeah, so we're hoping sooner than later. We want to put them with our porcupines. And so we're doing those introductions right now. So okay. they are still behind the scenes. This is the debut. This is the first time anybody's okay. seen them right well, here on Q2. All so right, congrats. this is so exciting. Do they get a, you mentioned the porcupine. Do they get along well with other animals? They can, absolutely. They can? Okay. Especially All if they right. raise, are raised with them. And at a young okay. age, we're at a good okay. age that we can do that with oh, them. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, great. Okay. okay, well, Jeff and Amanda and these cute little skunks. I mean, we want to thank you guys for Absolutely. coming in and we will send it over to our business report now.